Hello Painter, got another furniture painting video for you and in this video we've got an outdoor table right here that's basically looks pretty bad. It's got some peeling paint on it and and just looks really weather beaten and we're going to show you some tips on how to make this tabletop look really good again and we're going to start this process uh, of painting this tabletop right now so stay tuned. So a few things that I'm going to need to rehab this tabletop. I've got an oil-based all-surface enamel and it's an oil-based product that we're just going to brush on and it dries extremely hard and durable and it's great for a tabletop. I got myself a sanding sponge because it'll be sanding the top of this table. I got myself just what we call a chip brush and this is a cheap brush to brush this oil-based product out and then we're just going to throw it away when we're done. Got myself some gloves because I don't like getting this oil-based stuff on my hands and I got myself a five in one that I can actually open up my paint and scrape this table with, scrape the table top with. So here we go. So I'm going to set, set these things aside right now. I'm not going to be using these. I'm going to be using just my sanding sponges and my five in one to scrape all this loose paint here. We're just going to start scraping it away. It's going to get anything loose off of it. Once I get all the loose stuff with my five and one, then I'm gonna start sanding it with my sanding sponges. This is a tabletop that's actually has one of those umbrellas that go over the top. So it sits outside, gets a lot of sun, gets a lot of weather, actually gets snow piled on it. So you want something really durable to put on it. Any type of latex paint is probably not the best option. I'm just going to be sanding this tabletop off here, getting it nice, smooth. Looking for any more loose peeling paint. Now I think I got all the loose peeling stuff off. Got it all nice and sanded. And now I'm going to dust it off with a a nice clean dust rag. Now it's all clean, now I'm going to start the painting process. Okay, I got my all surface enamel, I'm going to shake it up really good. This is an oil based all surface enamel and it's excellent for furniture. I like using the water based all surface enamel on most of my furniture but this being a tabletop and it's going to be outdoors, I want this thing to dry extremely durable and I think the oil based product dries a little bit harder just I don't like the smell of it I don't like that it's just messy sticky gooey stuff and then your tools are pretty much ruined after you're done using it unless you want to spend a bunch of time cleaning it with mineral spirits which I don't like to do so I just throw away the brushes when I'm done these chip brushes only cost me they're only a couple dollars for a chip brush so I'm gonna put on some gloves because I do not want to get this stuff on my hands otherwise you got to clean it off with paint thinner which I don't want to put the paint thinner on my hands either and now I'm just going to start brushing it on a bucket that you can just put your paint in it's Pretty nice to just be able to put it into a painter's bucket, like a one gallon or two gallon bucket. I'm just doing this tabletop, so I'm just gonna work right out of the can of paint. I do have a lot of furniture painting videos using an airless sprayer, and this is a really small project, just this tabletop right here, and I don't wanna break out my airless sprayer and using an oil-based product because then I'm going to use you know five to ten dollars of paint thinner to actually clean out that sprayer and it just is a lot more difficult to set it up and tear it down than actually just to break out a brush and brush this tabletop. When using this product you want to make sure whatever you're that's underneath you has drop cloths on it. I got some drop cloths down here and I do actually have the table setting on a couple pieces of wood that's keeping it keeping it above my drop cloths. I might the legs are some metal legs. I might just spray 
the metal legs with a spray can of Krylon, which makes it fast and simple to paint the legs. Okay, I'm running out of room on my tabletop, so I'm just going to set my paint down on the ground here. Just being very careful, working out of my gallon can. And the one thing about these oil-based products is they dry a lot slower than a water-based product. So they gel out and level out really nice. And they give you almost a perfectly smooth finish like it was sprayed. Okay, now I got the whole top of this table brushed. I'm going to let it dry. It's going to take quite a while for it to dry. And if I need to add a second coat, then I'll add a second coat. It looks like it's covered 100% now. And I don't think I'm going to need to add a second coat. Okay, I'm waiting for my tabletop to dry. And the legs on this thing, there's some iron legs. And I'm just going to use some, some Rust-Oleum Universal spray paint. And this is a metallic paint and primer all in one. So I don't need to do any priming on it. I'm just going to spray it. And this is a uh, metallic oil rub bronze color it looks really cool so i'm just going to paint these legs right now and make the legs look brand new too You're all done spraying these legs and the tabletop dries it's a good idea to just flip the table over and spray the bottom of the feet too this gives that protection from the bottom of the feet rusting or deteriorating <laughs> 